Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to show you how to file an insurance premiums tax return. This is a logged in activity, so you must have a main tax portal username and be logged in to do this. We'll start off on the logged in homepage. And we're going to select the option to view returns under the insurance premiums tax panel. We're going to select the option to file now for the period for which we'd like to file. First, it asks for our business information. So we'll select our state of incorporation, our National Association of Insurance Commissioners code. We'll enter in our contact person's name and phone number and email address. There are also two optional yes or no questions below. When you're ready, you may proceed to the next page. This page asks if we are filing as a paid preparer and to enter our information if we are. Next, we'll enter our deductions by premiums. You'll just fill out what applies to you and your business. Whenever you're ready to proceed, you may continue on to the next page. Next is the deductions by premiums totals. This auto calculates for you based on what you entered on the previous page. Next is your page for tax premiums. Again, you'll key in any information as it applies to you and your business. Next, your deductions from Schedule 1 are auto-calculated for you based on the information entered. Your total net taxable premiums are auto-calculated based on the information you've entered thus far. And then the total tax on those premiums is calculated for you in the last line. Next is the credit calculation page. If you have any non-refundable tax credits, refundable tax credits, or estimated payments, those would go here. Next is the attachments page. You would add any necessary attachments based on you and your situation. When you're done, you may click next. Next is the balance page. Based on the information we've entered, we have an amount due. And we're asked if we'd like to make a payment at this time. We're going to say yes. On the payment page, we'll be asked if we'd like to pay with a check in your savings account. We'll also be asked to enter our routing number, account number, and account number again to confirm. We'll also be asked if we'd like to save this payment channel for future use. We're going to say no. We then have the payment date, which defaults to today, and the amount that defaults to the total. Either of these can be changed if you'd like. We'll also be asked to confirm the amount again. Next is the summary page. The information entered thus far will be reiterated back to us. Once you've confirmed that it's correct, you may click next. Next is the declaration where we are asked to declare that we've examined this return and that it is correct. And then we enter the name of the person filing this return. And again, to confirm, when you're ready, you may click submit. On the next page, we have a confirmation number. As always, we do encourage you to make note of this for your records. And that concludes our demonstration of how to file an insurance premiums tax return. Thank you all for watching.